Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, I will show you how to install Kubernetes on your system by using Vagrant virtual machines. So this installation will install one master server and two worker nodes. This installation is the Kubadium installation. Code network plugin which I'm using is Calico and container runtime is container D. To begin with, you need to first download the virtual box. So once you click on this link, you will redirect to the virtual box download page. So it will bring it over here. So whichever operating system you are using, Mac operating system, Windows operating system, or Linux operating system, you can download the package of VirtualBox and you can install it on your system. Installation is very simple. It's a wizard if you are using Windows and you just need to select the default option and install it. Once this virtual box is installed, then you need to download the Vagrant. And to download the Vagrant, you just need to click on this link. It will redirect to this page and whichever operating system you are using, select that one. And if you are using Windows, so I'm using Windows, so you just need to download Windows 64 bit. If you are using Mac operating system, you can use with the preview install or you can use the Mac OS binary download, right? So once it is installed, then you can go to your terminal and you can check that Vagrant is installed or not. One point to be noted, when you install Vagrant first time on your machine, then it requires a reboot. So once Vagrant is installed, just run a command Vagrant and version command. This command basically determines whether Vagrant is installed on your system or not. Again, it takes a little bit time to download, uh, to show this version, that which version is installed on your system and what is the latest version. So if you see, my latest version is, which is 2.2.19, is same as the installed version. So Vagrant is installed. Also, we need to check VirtualBox is installed. So you just open the Oracle VirtualBox and you can see this VirtualBox is installed as well. Now let us go to the next step. Then you need to download the Git. So you need to go to Git uh, SCM uh, download. I just search on the Google. And you can download Git SCM for Mac, Linux, or Windows, whichever operating system you are using. So I'm using Windows, so I'll just download it and install it. Again, it's a very straightforward installation. Why we need Git? Because uh, uh, the package which we need to install for Kubernetes, that is available on my Git repository. So you need to clone that repository on your system to install the Kubernetes setup. So once the installation is done, again, you can go to your command prompt and you can run a command git and hyphen hyphen version command. So which will tell you which version of git is installed. This is the latest version as of today, right? Now, so once it is installed, then what you need to do, you need to download a repository where all the Kubernetes master worker node related scripts and Vagrant file is available. So I'll copy this uh, command. And uh, if you want to, for example, if I go to my drive C VMS, so I have created some VMS drive here. And I will create, uh, I will create my virtual machine folder here. So I will go to command prompt and I will run that command over here. So now it is uh, cloning the Kubernetes uh, 
repository on my system. So if you notice that there is a K8S, this directory get created. Under this directory, you will find there is a K8S vagrant directory got created. And under that, I have a vagrant file. So I need to navigate to this folder. You can uh, use the CD command directly from here, or if you are using Windows, you can directly go here and run the CMD. So I'm in that directory. Now, next thing is uh, all the script, everything is uh, available here. You just need to uh, run a command, which is, uh, so these are the steps under K8S directory. One more folder, K8S Vagrant. Change your directory to K8, uh, K8S Vagrant on the command terminal. And okay, so this is uh, one more thing that you need to install on your system. On my system, it is already installed. I'm not running that command. Run this plugin. So this plugin will help you to install the VirtualBox guest operating system. It helps over there to install the uh, virtual machines, right? So I have already executed it, I, so I'm not going to execute it. But if you are using first time this setup, then you need to run this command as well. Next, run the below command to create the Kubernetes cluster. It will take around 10 to 15 minutes. Run the command vagrant up. So I'm uh, running this command. Before that, I just want to show you in the virtual box, there is no virtual machine so far I have. Now I'm running a command, vagrant and up command. Okay. So it will take some time. As I mentioned, it takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Right. So now my master node and the worker node is getting ready. So it will take around 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, let's wait for that. I will pause the video and I will resume it once the uh, installation is done. Okay. Okay. My setup is executed successfully. All the machines are in the ready state. Now, next thing is that we need to verify that whether these uh, nodes are in the ready state for the Kubernetes cluster point of view. For that, what you need to do? You need to run the command vagrant ssh and kmaster. So kmaster is the name of the master node. So I'm uh, connecting to master node, right? So after this, let me log in with the root user. And if I run this command kubectl and get nodes, so you will find that it is giving some error that connection to the server localhost 8080 was refused. Actually, to resolve this issue, what you need to do, you need to run this command. We need to create dot cube directory. Right? And then we need to copy the configuration file, admin configuration file I'm copying at this moment, and give the ownership to the current user. Okay, so now if I run this command again, kubectl get nodes. So now you can see all the nodes are in ready state. Okay, so in case, so this is now everything is fine. Uh, in case if you are getting any error, right? So what you need to do, you can run these steps. So if you get any error in step seven, when you are running the uh, vagrant up command, you can run this command vagrant up k master then vagrant up k worker one, then vagrant up k worker two, right? And if it shows uh, only master node when you run the kubectl get nodes command, then uh, just check this file. So this file is basically having the join key. So you can just copy this. So let me go to master node. And if I say, uh, if I run this command, right? So this is the join command. You need to copy this join command, right? In case if these k master k worker node one or two is not properly showing. Uh, so the reason is that the worker nodes are not joined properly. So you need to run this token command to join these nodes again. So you need to exit from master node 
and you need to connect to vagrant ssh and k uh, worker 1 and worker 2 so i'm connecting to worker 1 so same steps you need to follow for the worker 2 in case you are getting not ready state or this worker node 1 or worker node show uh, worker node 2 is not showing over uh, here when you run the kubectl get nodes command login with the root user and then uh, copy this command and run it over here okay so that's it uh, for setting up the kubernetes cluster by using uh, vagrant and i'm using ubuntu 20.04 uh, operating system if you have any question then you can write it in the comment all the links i will share it on the uh, in the description thank you very much